Good morning, everyone, or anybody that's watching, and to those that aren't watching, good morning. Hope all are doing well. Um, this is a follow-up video. You could call it a classroom illustration or education to yesterday's video. I put a, yesterday, uh, a video in here yesterday showing on camera on a 97 Harley Fat Boy soft tail how to adjust the rear wheel to get it properly aligned. But there's so many people, they do not understand anything, anything about how machining works. And they keep doing something a wrong way, which is going to keep producing the wrong, stupid results. All right, now on a rear wheel alignment on a motorcycle, okay, on these hards, they show a long wire that has a piece of rubber on it that you slide to the center of the bolt head you know, or the bolt like on the left side of the motorcycle where it has the hole in it for the cotter pin, you know, uh, to go in. As an accurate source to measure all the way up to what would be the, uh, where the swing arm bolts on to the frame in the mid area of your, your motorcycle. See, like right up in here. Alright, now, that long piece of wire, if you're using that method to align your rear wheel, what you're going to do is you're going to run a rear wheel that is always going to angle out slightly to the right. And here's why. Because, even though where that swing arm bolts onto that frame around the midsection of that motorcycle, that hull, the bearings in them have to have some ply, some space, so that they can freely move, alright? Alright, that's going to produce a clearance. As soon as you take off, Okay, the stress of the drive belt on the rear sprocket is going to pull that wheel up slightly on the left side, making the right, the rear wheel go out slightly to the right. It's going to happen, and there's no way you can prevent it. You can keep fighting what, in machining, what we call is true. Look, I am a master machinist. I retired doing this. I'm age 67. And I keep telling Harley owners over and over and over and over, quit doing stupid, retarded nonsense that you see in these videos with these uh, shops. Those guys that do that work, those are not machinist people. They do not know about accuracy. Oh, okay, now, watch yesterday's video. I will paste a link to that down below this video so that you can watch it. Okay, this is my last attempt on this to try and help people to help people understand what I'm talking about here. Like, you take the Japanese. When it comes to rear wheel alignment, they do not give a damn about the center of that bolt on that uh, axle bolt. They do not give a damn. Here's what they focus on. Okay, the machine. The circumference of the bolt itself where the spacer rods, where the adjuster bolt goes. That's what they focus on. Because, see, that's machine accurate. The center of the head of any bolt is not machine accurate. Because that's not a true 
um, area. The head of a boat is not totally true, but most people do not know that. And you definitely, even if it were, if someone drilled a small place in the center of a bullhead, still, when you get up to where the frame, the uh, swing arm bolts on to that motorcycle under the seat, okay, where those bearings are, those bushings, there's going to be flight. Because even though those, the metal part of the swing arm is machined where those bushings go in, at the same time, there's going to be a little bit of ploy. So the only accurate source of an alignment is the spacer, which has the notch in it, that the adjuster bolt nipple goes into, and the part on the swing arm that is machine true accurate is the only way. So here's what I'm telling you. If you have a Harley and you adjust your rear wheel any different than what I'm telling you, you did it the wrong way and you're going to pay the price because your bike is always going to pull to one side or the other and your tire is going to prematurely wear more on one side. You know, it's up to you, you know, because that's not a machine accurate source. Like, okay, here's an example. You take the front wheels of any car where you have the roller bearings that hold the rotor on, and then the rotor has lug nuts to hold the wheel on. All right, did you know that those require 10,000 ply from the factory originally because they have to have mo uh, room and for the uh, grease to set in the roller bearing. All right, that is why on the front end of any car, do you know they are designed to where the front of the tire toes in or goes inward more, one quarter inch more than the back of the tire. Because see, when you take off that clearance on each side, okay, that's going to uh, give you the difference. But, you know, that's the reason for that. And the same thing on these Harleys or any other motorcycle. Where that swing arm bolts on has to have a little bit of clearance in the bushings or the bearings. You know, whatever it is using. So that is not an accurate method because you can measure from the rear axle bolt up to the axle bolt with this long piece of wire stupid people are using and uh, the center of that bolt head, there's no way to get that accurate for one way. You cannot get that accurate, okay? Uh, you can't do it. And even if you did, it's not going to make any difference because the bushing is going to give a certain amount of clearance. A certain amount of clearance as soon as you take off. Okay? That's going to happen. It's not accurate. But here's some things that are accurate. You take the spacer. Okay? Let's see. Let me get a better view of it. You take the spacer up here, you can see it. Um, I call it pack light. It's got a, na a notch in it, and it uh, it's a thick washer. And a nipple from the adjuster bolt goes into that notch. Then you have a piece of metal that is machine accurate, machine true that the um, adjuster bolt screws into. Then, your adjuster bolt itself, you need to make sure are the same identical length. Uh, OEM, they were. If it doesn't have them now, order some for it. But uh, these right here, in this area, between the bolt head and the threads, before you get to where the bolt screws into, 
that area right there needs to match on both sides identical. And see this that I call Pack Lady that your axle bolt goes through that has the notch in it for the adjuster bolt. Okay, that is a machine perfect part. And what matters, not the head of the bow, axle bolt, but the circumference of the bolt itself as to where this part fits on it. See, there's no play there. There is no allowable play there. It's within one-sixth of one thousandth uh, clearance, the measurement on that. So your adjustment is going to be right here. And that's where I showed y'all in yesterday's video of how to use the old-style blade gap gauge. You don't even have to measure it. It's just after you get your belt tension right on the left side, or on the right side for the sportsters, okay, match the other side to be identical inside that bolt head and where it screws in to the swing arm, okay? Get those both identical and see so you will have a true measurement there. You will have a true measurement. But uh, for those of you that you just don't have the mind or the uh, mental ability to think beyond a certain point and you're simple-minded and you think you're going to get it accurate at the middle of a head of a boat with a little piece of rubber, go ahead and believe that. But if you want that inaccuracy, it's yours. Good, good luck with it. Good luck. But, you know, uh, stupid results in stupid, okay? You know, uh, I don't ride a Japanese motorcycle. I also do not own a Japanese uh, car. But they are intelligent because I know for a fact the last 60 years, the Japanese, on all of their motorcycles, they have lines drawn. And what it is, you turn the adjuster bolt, on those you turn a nut, you know, and it brings it forward or further in, and it matches the line on each side. But if the adjuster bolts were the same length, you could use the same method there. But they're uh, being friendly enough to allow you to avoid having to measure it yourself. You see? But that's all you need to match those clearances between the inner part of that adjuster bolt head and where the frame is. Get it right, people, because as long as you adjust the center of a bolt head to another bolt head up on the swing arm that has bushings in it, it will never, ever, 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 ever be right. And I don't care how many people do something wrong, but it's still not going to work. You know, it's like uh, I recently watched a video of something that's very untrue. People are only going to cause themselves a lot of trouble, a big, big trouble. A guy that calls himself, he's at a dealership, and he calls himself such and such Harley. And he's an older man saying that cylinder bolts that uh, go all the way down, two go into your right engine case, two go into your left engine case. One has a lip on it where they screw in in the bottom in the cases, and it's where your cap head bolt holds the cylinder and the engine heads down. He said to flip those upside down and you'll get better results. You better not, you better not, because that lip was put on there so that it screwed down until that lip presses against the uh, engine cases, meaning that the uh, threads inside the engine case is not going to be stressed. But if you put those in upside down, what's going to happen, they're going to, all the stress is going to be on those threads because they're not going to have the lip putting pressure where that they were tightened in there originally. Go ahead, don't uh, believe me, but 
See, to understand machining vision, to understand machining and how it works, and uh, also in yesterday's video I illustrated when you change your drive belt on these cars, stop taking the rear wheel off, people. You don't need to take the rear wheel off. If you don't understand, watch that video I posted in here yesterday. But anyway, later, and that covers everyone. Um, if you don't get it at this point, you just don't have the mind for it. Actually, the way I'm telling you to do it is better than using a stupid long piece of wire when you can just use uh, filler gauge blades, you know, to match one side to the other inside the bolt head to the frame. And, you know, against the one thick washer with the notches that's machined, and so is the circumference of the axle bolt. Okay, but anyway, later.